I appreciated it because I know the purpose behind the right speech, but I was fearful of what I wanted to say because I was scared that majority of the student might be judging what I want to say and I think that takes a, quite a toll on like how I present myself. I didn't have confidence in myself at the beginning. The challenges was my own fear of stepping out in front of a large crowd to talk because I was a very shy student so I would always keep things to myself, I wouldn't really talk and I feel like being a school leader as well that also pushes me to try to be an inspiration to the younger students as well. And as I proceeded, um, I believe in myself and I trusted my teammate that there are people um, down in the crowd that is cheering on for me and so I tried my highest. So I know she had the calibre and also the um the desire to win the competition. So I was very fortunate to have her on my team. You know, look, I, I know she will do well. And I've already spoken to her about this, that that preparation for this speech is key and obviously practice. Um, we also know that, that whatever we have done in the past, it won't be good enough because obviously the expectations is obviously through the roof. So we need to obviously up the level. She understands that, I understand that, and she knows how hard she works. But then again, she is a diligent student herself. So I have full confidence that she will be able to execute it perfectly. Now, um, on that note, not just giving her, wishing her good luck with the right speech, but giving, wishing her good luck for the HSC as well. To nurture a future wholesome leader with the selfless purpose to light up the world. What a great vision. Okay, let's start with some well-known leaders. Hitler, Trump and Stalin. What do all these leaders have in common? They all display what was expected of a good and effective leader. They had a clear vision for the future of their country. They work hard and are committed to their own goal, highlighting their courage and perseverance. The extremely confident and influential speaker who drew thousands of people into their cause. Yet, are they wholesome? Wholesome is characterized by moral well-being. It is a leadership that arises when one is being one whole self. By this, I mean it is standing up and acting for what has meaning and heart. For oneself and others. Being selfless instead of selfish and to light up the world instead of dim it. We as humans tend to gravitate towards desire. Desire to do things that not only benefit ourselves, but if you live your life as if everything is about you, you'll be left with just that. Just you. Leadership is a service and it's not only found in the political framework. Doctors, teachers, parents, you name it, are all providing a service for others in terms of ensuring good health, education, and basically anything that benefits the majority instead of themselves. They're refraining and abstaining from the five hindrances, sensual desire, ill will, restlessness and worry, doubt and sloth and torpor, and are actively cultivating on the 10 codes of moral conduct. I can go through all the 10 codes, but I treasure your time. So just look at the frosted glass inside circling the stairs later. You will see there's contentment and non-materialistic thinking compassionate thinking, those are the quality of a wholesome leader. A wholesome leader remembers that he or she is a wave and is part of a larger ocean of life. They recognize their larger value in society, that they can make a difference and greed will only lead to suffering. So they lead with integrity and humility. Lead with the vision and goal of lighting, creating a better and loving society. Lead by thinking of themselves less and not thinking less of themselves. They let the wholesome mind be the leader because the mind precedes all mental states. And if with a pure mind a person speak or act, happiness, 
joy and peace follow them like a never departing shadow. So be grounded with mastery. Mastery to embody the four sublime virtues, loving kindness, compassion, equanimity and selfless joy. Mastery to nurture your roots. Ensure your thoughts, actions and speech are not for selfish reasons. Plant the seeds of sharing wisdom. Show love and kindness to your pals and people in general and bear the wholesome fruit from your efforts. I can tell you now that if you're willing to nurture yourself, you will achieve priceless result. For I, your 2018 school captain, who started off as a very shy and doubtful person, I didn't believe in myself and was fearful of judgment. To now, someone who's here to represent you all. Share my wisdom and hope and to inspire and fuel your passion and commitment in all of you. So be in control. Be the wholesome and selfless leader who will light up the world because the school believes in you. They sow the seeds amongst their students in hope that the individual is not only benefiting, but it's the people in which they will serve. So believe in yourself. For we are all lotus far deep from the surface of the water. We just need a push and we'll grow and blossom. Thank you.